good evening, everyone, and welcome to Ad America TV. My name is Jasmine. I'm one of the E guys at Ad America, and I would like to welcome all of our audience members joining us online tonight. We hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Ad America is the U.S. Embassy's American Center, and our mission is to provide a space for young Indonesians to learn more about the United States. We have temporarily moved to a digital platform so you can enjoy all of our events in the comfort of your own home. So for those of you joining us tonight, don't forget to leave your questions at the comment box section on each platform and our speaker will answer your questions during this event. All right, so tonight we will be discussing let's sharpen your American English pronunciation. But as usual in all of Ad America's events, we would like to start with a quiz. So true or false, in American English, the use of serial comma is mandatory. I repeat one more time. True or false, in American English, the use of serial comma is mandatory. All right, so stay tuned until the end of the event and we will tell you guys who got the correct answer for the quiz. And also before we begin, I would like to start with a poll. So um, be sure to answer all of the questions from our poll. So uh, we would like to know, uh, where did you hear about this event? Uh, you can only choose one answer. Did you hear it from our Ad America social media, from our partner social media, from the Ad America website, or did you hear it from somewhere else? And where are you watching this from? Are you watching this from Java, Sumatra? Obviously from your home, but we would like to know. And where is your favorite platform to stream digital events? Is it from Zoom, YouTube, Facebook, Periscope, or from the Ad America website? And lastly, uh, you can choose this one. You can up choose up to three choices. Uh, what type of digital programs would you like to see from Ad America? All right. Uh, and also, don't forget to take a selfie and tag at America's Instagram account to tell everybody that you're having a good time tonight. All right, I think you guys are as excited as me. Let's just start the event. I would like to invite our speaker for tonight, Guruku Mr. D. Hello, Mr. D. Hello, can everybody hear me? Hello. Mr. D. Yeah, can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? Oh, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Nice to meet you, Jasmine. You're muted. Take it away. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, hi everybody. So um, this is an at America event. So I'm going to be using English. Uh, I know I usually use Bahasa Indonesia when I make my videos. Uh, so yes, uh, don't worry, Suchi Amelia, I will talk slower. Uh, <laughs> but uh, do keep in mind that this will be all in English, okay? Uh, anyway, we are practicing our pronunciation. So I think anybody can do it, okay? Even if we uh, have our level of English a little bit low, it's okay because it's about making the sounds. Even if you don't know the words, you can make the sounds. So uh, my voice is a little bit soft, somebody said. Maybe I'll talk a little bit louder. Okay, so everybody, let's begin. I'm gonna open up the material so that we can all follow along. Okay. Okay, so everybody, today what we're going to talk about is American pronunciation. Um, I chose some actors to put on the top of the presentation slide who have kind of generic American accents. What does that mean, a generic American accent? We also say non-regional accent, uh, especially Robert Downey Jr. has a very non-regional an accent. Um, this is uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Hers is a little bit Southern. And um, Chadwick Boseman on the right is uh, New York. So what is an American accent, right? 
what does American pronunciation sound like? For that, I'm going to play a video and let's all watch this video, okay? Let me play this video. Uh, I'm gonna cut the video there. And now let me share again where we were before. Okay, so what does American pronunciation sound like? Actually, there is no answer. There's so many different accents in America. You just saw that's the comedian Fred Armisen showing some of the several, the many accents of America, United States of America. But there's even some that he didn't talk about. You know, there's the Appalachian Mountains accent. It's impossible to understand, but we'll save that for another time. Okay. Okay, everybody. So uh, when we pronounce words, we need the muscles. We need to use the muscles in our mouth, right? In the throat. We need to use the tongue, right? So when I make my videos, you can see sometimes I can be very labai with the way that I pronounce words, right? I over pronounce the words to make it easier for you to duplicate my sound, yeah? So it's very good, like, like we're doing fitness, we should warm up first, warm up the muscles, okay? So what I have for us now are some tongue twisters, and I need some volunteers. Can some people raise their hand who want to try this with me, okay? So start raising your hands now, and we'll pick some people to join. I see four participants have raised their hands. Uh, as we start picking someone, let me show you how this goes. Uh, so the first one I'm gonna do for you, give Papa a cup of proper coffee in a copper coffee cup. Of course, it gets harder when you do it faster. I don't, even I cannot do it, okay? Give Papa a cup of copper, see, I'm already wrong. Give Papa a cup of proper coffee in a copper, give Papa a cup of proper coffee in a copper, I was already wrong. Okay, so um, let me look at the raised hands. And can we uh, unmute Mohammed Zainal Amin and Dia Anur Mehta Dew? Okay, can we un unmute those two? And then they're gonna join me with this. As, as we get that unmuted, I'm gonna do the second one. I can think of six thin things, but I can think of six Thick, thick things too, sorry. I can think of six thin things, but I can think of six thick things too. Faster. I can think of thick, I can think of six thin things, but I can think of six thick things too. <laughs> sorry. Mohammed, are you here? Mohammed Zainal Amin. Dia, can you hear me, Dia? I'm here. Okay, Dia. Can I hear you try the first one? Give Papa a cup of proper coffee and a copper coffee cup. Okay, I'll try. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. All right. Oh, give a Papa a cup of proper coffee and a copper coffee cup. Ooh, Isn't that's it? very fast. Okay, so try it slow first. Okay. Uh, give Papa a cup of proper coffee and a copper coffee cup. Very good. And now try faster. Give Papa a cup of proper coffee in a copper coffee cup. Ah, <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Okay, uh, stay here, Dia. We're going to do another one with Dia. But in the meantime, can we get Harry Risman to unmute? And Rahita Hasian. Oh, Hasian. That's like Sayang in uh, Batak, yeah? Uh, so we get Rahita, yeah? And then um, Dia, are you still? Yeah, you're still here, Dia. Can yes, we do... Yes, the third one. Let's do the third one. If two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? What? <laughs> <laughs> if two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? Okay. I'll try. I'll try. Okay. If two witches were watching... Oh, okay. It's hard. Okay. If two witches were watching two watch, which witch would watch which watch? Good. So you will soon notice that uh, 
Some of the sounds that you're having difficulty with are in the presentation we'll be getting into soon. For example, watches, the, the S at the end of watches mm -hmm. is like a Z sound. Okay. Oh, where is my annotation tool? I cannot find it. Okay, that's okay. So you guys can see the cursor on my screen. Yes. The S in watches, that's like a Z, watches, watches. Watches. Yeah, and this is witches, which is also Z. Witches, watches, isn't it? Mm, much better, Dia, yes. So now I want to move on. Uh, Harry, can we unmute Harry again? I think he was unmuted before. Let's jump one, Harry. Let's do oh, the big bug. This one is hard for me. Okay. <laughs> The big bug bit the little beetle, but the little beetle bit the big bug back. <laughs> My God. Are you there, Harry? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you. Let's try. Yeah. Uh, the big bug. Slow, slow. Okay. The big bug bit the little beetle, but the little beetle bit the bug, big, the big bug <laughs> back. <laughs> very close. Very close. Very close. And now speed it up. The big bug bit the little beetle, but the little beetle bit the big bug back. Ooh. I surprised myself. That was good. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. The big bug bit the little beetle. Oh, hang on. Oh, my the big bug bit the little beetle, but the little beetle bit the big bug back. Good. That was not bad. That was not bad. So now for the sake of, of warming up, let's overdo the entire thing. The big bug bit the little beetle, but the little beetle big the bit. See, I even got it wrong there. Uh, Harry, can you try overdoing every single word in this slowly? Uh, the big bug bit the little beetle, but the little beetle bit the big bug back. Very good. Good, good, good. Cool. So you're, you're hitting your, your T's very hard, little beetle, even though me, like my American accent, when I speak fast, it's more like little. So the T is very soft. Yeah, you told me to overemphasize, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. The great job, great job. E okay. Even when I overemphasized, it was it was a hard T. So I just want to show you, it's good to overdo it first, and then we can bring it down. Okay. Um, let's hear from Rehita Hasian. We have to hear from her because I made the Hasian joke, not joke, but reference. Rehita, yeah. can you hear me? Yeah, it's true. It's yes. true about Hasian, yeah. Can hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> Yes, I can hear you. Are very I can correct. see you. Good, good. So <laughs> okay. let's skip. Let's do fuzzy wuzzy. No, fuzzy wuzzy is easy. Let's do we sure shall we we surely shall see the sun shine soon. Okay, we surely shall see the sun shine soon. That's pretty good. Now let's go faster. And I will be wrong too, so don't worry. We surely shall see the sun shine yeah. soon. Oh, that's not bad. We surely shall see the sun shine soon. I did okay. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. We surely shall see the sunshine soon. Not bad. Very good. You know what? I make Thanks. mistakes with this one sometimes, but I think because I've been using tongue twisters with my students a lot, I've gotten better. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this goes mm -hmm. to show to everybody watching, uh, practice these tongue twisters and you will get better. Okay. Uh, Rahita, how about we yeah, do sure. one more? You pick whichever one you want. Sure. Um... Uh, can I pick the last one? That's my favorite one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. One one was a race horse. Two two was one two. When one 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 race, two two one one two. <laughs> Good. <laughs> this is oh, a little bit like God. binary code, but not zeros and ones, twos and ones. <laughs> um, okay. Can you do it fast? Okay, I'll try. One one was a race horse two two was one two when one 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 race two two one one two. Nice, nice. Um, okay, thank you, Rahita. I'm gonna get, try to get two more people in this. Uh, Linda Wati, and then maybe I can try someone else after that. Let me find another guy. Where are all the guys at? Let Is Cornelius Siki? That's okay. Did we get Linda unmuted? Can you hear me, Linda? Yes, I can hear, sir. Ah, good. Okay, so let's get one from Linda. How about, let's do fuzzy wuzzy. Oh. 
Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? Okay. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? Oh my God. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Good, good. Can you do it faster? I'll do it for you first, yeah? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy was very... <sighs> okay. So if you fail, it's okay, because I failed, huh? <laughs> fuzzy wasn't very, wasn't very fuzzy, was he? Okay. Go ahead, Linda, try. Fuzzy was, he was a bear. Fuzzy was, he has no hair. Fuzzy was, he was son with hairy was, he was he. Ah, not bad, not bad. Hi, <laughs> guys, <laughs> it's very hard. It's okay. You said has instead of had, and I'm thinking that's actually pretty good. That makes the tongue twister even harder, because it adds another Z sound. <laughs> Good, Linda. Good, good. Okay. Let's try um, the guy that I noticed before. Was it Cornelius? Cornelius has his hand up. Okay. Hello, uh, everybody. You can you hear right. me? We can hear you. All right. Thank so, you. Unfortunately, you get stuck with the hardest one. The sixth, oh. sick sheik's sixth sheep is sick. I have oh. heard many people say that this is the hardest tongue twister in English. Oh, say again once more, please. The sixth sick sheep's sixth sheep is sick. Oh, okay. Give it a shot. The, the sixth sick 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 sheep is sick. This is very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try fast. The sixth sick 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 sick. Ah, it's just sick 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 sick. Good, good. Can six, you try six, one more time? Six, okay. The six, 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 six is sick. <laughs> okay, that one's hard. Cornelius, before we move on, I want to move okay. on to the tongue twisters. Can you do one more and you pick? Uh, oh, trouble. Which one do you want to do? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me, Cornelius? Oh, okay, okay, I can hear you. Sorry. Yeah, so, so just try one more, you pick. Uh, the third from the bottom. All right, this one. We surely shall see the sunshine soon. Good, try it again. Hello? Can you hear me? We, sure, we surely shall see the sun sign soon. Not bad at all. Very good, 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 good. Isn't all right, it, all right. So thank you correct? so much, Cornelius. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Good job, yeah. So thank you so much to all the people thank who tried you. this. Okay, thank you, Cornelius, and thank you, everybody. So um, you can take a, a screenshot of this, all right? English Today, don't forget, English Today is my company where we provide English classes. And uh, let's move on. Good. So, all righty. So, TH versus TH. Why do I have the same thing versus the same thing? Because it's not the same thing. So, for TH, um, the tongue has to tell the top head of your tail, okay? So, if you can't click up the tail, you have to click head, okay? Everybody understand? Great. So we'll move on now, yeah? Just kidding. All right. So the tongue has to touch the top teeth. If, if it doesn't, you can't make the sound, right? So why are there two, though? Because over here we have the voiceless TH sound, like through, throw, north, and anything. But over here we have the voiced TH sounds. So that is there. Sorry, why am I skipping the? The is mad at me for skipping the. There, bathe, and soothing, right? My, my screen is covering it, soothing. So the reason that they're different, they both require your tongue to touch the top teeth, not the bottom, but the top teeth, th, 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 right? 
And for the first one, it's just air coming out of your mouth. Mouth. But for the v sounds, your throat will vibrate and make a sound. So the, there, bathe, okay? So if you touch your throat and you can feel the vibration, then you know you're doing it right for the second one, voiced sounds, the, there. So now I'm gonna do the voiceless, through. Throw. There's no vibration in my throat. Okay. It's just, there's just air coming out. Let me get someone to try this with me. Let's get some new, some new hands. Can people raise their hands for me? Um, Malika Nargis. Let's try Mar Malika. Ma Malika. Why did I? Uh, yes. This is me. <laughs> there you are, Malika. Good, Malika. You can try doing this. Let's do the voiceless first. Can you do through? Uh, through. Very good. That's not bad. By the way, I like that you're covering the bottom half of your face because, as you can see, I look ugly when I'm overdoing it. Through, through, through. <laughs> so, guys, don't worry. When you practice this, you can practice it alone so no one can see you. Yeah. And Malika is not showing us the bottom half of her mouth, but we can hear that it's correct. Good job, Malika. Uh, yeah, can you do you. throw? Throw. Good. North. 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 Very good. Anything? Anything. Very good. Not bad. So over here, what I have is TH in the beginning, TH at the end, TH in the middle. Let's try the voiced. The. The. Hey, not bad. There. Can you hear me? I can, there. I can. Okay. There. There. Bath. Soothing. Bathe. Bathe. Very soothing. good. Soothing. Soothing. Very good. She's not bad. Oh my God, Malika, you graduated. I need someone else. <laughs> Who is Thank next? You. No problem. Suchi Amelia, maybe? How come everybody raising their hands is a woman? Where are the brave men? There are no brave men. Um, what's the name that I just said? Suchi Amelia, right? Yeah, that's me. There you are, Suchi. I can hear you. Good. Okay. So, Suchi, uh, let's try yes. through. Through. Oh, that's too good. Throw. <laughs> Throw. That's too good. Okay, north. North. Uh, my teaching is not working when you're already good. <laughs> okay, anything. Anything. All right, let's, let's hope she gets these wrong, guys. Let's try this, because then I get a chance to teach her. Okay, the. All right. The. There. There. I give up. Bathe. Bathe. She's good at this. Soothing. Soothing. Ah, you win. You can, okay, you graduate. Thank you. Good job. Mr. Diaz. No problem. Let's get something, somebody else in here, huh? Uh, let's find a man. Come on, guys. Carlos? Yeah, Carlos. This must be a man. Carlos Leonardo. Hello. He better not be Latino. <laughs> oh, he's not. Good. Because if he's Latino, I'm going to be like, that's not fair. I'm Latino. That means if I, he can do it, I, I can do it. He can do it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm a man. You, yeah, I don't know. Well, let's give this a shot. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as uh, we get some more people trying this, let's see what okay. we can, how far that's we can do. Huh? So can you do through? True. Ah, can we do it a little better? So the tongue has to touch the teeth through. Okay, true. Mm, so yours is coming out kind of like a t, 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 like a t. Okay. Right? And um, so what I, want it, what I want you to do, be very labai, okay? Be very oh. labai. And what I want is through. Through, through. Stick out your tongue. Through. So, so try this. Stick out your tongue first and keep it out. 
Keep it up. Good. And then before you start talking, can you understand me? Before, before you start talking, through. Through. Aha! That works. That works. Oh my God. It, it did work. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm glad to see you being all like amazed that it worked. It's because it does work, right? <laughs> it works. Let's try the end of the word North. North. He did it. He did it. Let's try anything. Anything. Aha, see, he got it, guys. If he can do it, you can do it. Okay, uh, Carlos. Is it Carlos or Char? Char? It's Car. Okay, so let's try the. So this one, we need the vibration, the sound coming from the throat. The. Again? The. The. Ah, so this one sounds a little bit like a D for you. The. Okay. The. Yeah. Uh, so again, let's stick out the tongue. The. The. Ah, that's better. Oh, let's try there. There. Yeah, not bad. Bathe. Bathe. Nice. And then soothing. Soothing. Again? Soothing. Yeah, not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. I'm very happy we got Carlos in here doing this because we can see that. him going through the process. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. You can take a screenshot of this and then I will move on. You can practice this every day. Practice this every day in the mirror. You will get better, trust me. Okay, mm, what time is it? Okay, I wanna save some time for uh, Q&A. So I think we won't be able to get through every one of the sounds in this, but we will get through a lot. Good, so our, um, <laughs> You know when the cat does the purring, it kind of sounds like rolled R. Yeah. So Indonesians will roll the R, just like just like Spanish, actually. My my parents, my family, yeah. We all roll the R, yeah, in Spanish. So in Indonesian also. But in English, we never roll the R. So the R is gonna be like an er. So not like, uh, let's look at these examples. For example, power is not gonna be power, okay? Racer, it's gonna be racer, yeah? So um, just don't overdo the R. I think we can go through this one quickly. Let me get some people to try it. Uh, Titi Damayanti, can we unmute Titi Damayanti? And then we will uh, try the, the rolled R, or not rolling the R. Keeping the R still. What's the opposite of rolling? Laying down? Lay down the R. Um, who did I say? Titi Damayanti. Huh? Oh, no, but we got Endung unmuted. Endung, can you hear me? Or Titi, can we hear Titi? Let me, let me play, let me play. Let me do the examples for you as we get someone unmuted. Radio. Horse, train, zebra, power, racer. Good. Anybody want to try? Um, can we try Wilda Shafia? Can we unmute Wilda? Ah, Wilda. Can you hear me, Wilda? Yes, I can hear you. Ah, good. So, Wilda, can you read uh, this word for me first? Radio. Ah, good. And this one? Horse. Good, good. Next one? Uh, I'm sorry, it's... Is it covered? Uh, train? Train. Mm. Next, the animal? Um, zebra. Good, perfect. And then? Power. Very good. And, and the last one? Racer. Good, racer. perfect. She already sounds American. She graduated. Good job. <laughs> All right. So the R is not hard for everybody. For some people, it's hard, you know, depending on the region, especially. I think East Indonesia will roll the R a lot. 
So this is something just for you to keep in mind and work on reducing, yeah? Good, good, let's move on. Double consonants, okay? In Bahasa Indonesia, there aren't very many double consonants, yeah? The, the two consonants together doesn't exist that often, so this tends to be hard for people. Um, there's a few kinds, uh, not really a few kinds, I guess this kind and this kind is similar, but the one thing for sing versus sink is to keep in mind that the NK words like sink, pretend it has a G, yeah? So these would be very similar for Indonesian, yeah? Because the K and the G can be very similar in Bahasa Indonesia. But just imagine there's a G here. Yeah, let me stop moving the cursor because then this thing will stop popping up. There you go. So let's un let's unmute any Lestari. And then that's a loud motorcycle. Uh, sing versus sink. Just add the G sound before the K in sink. And ping versus pink. Add the G sound before the K in pink. Uh, and, and for definition, sing, the first one is to sing, yanyi, and the second one, sink, is wastafel, wastafel, yeah, sink. And then ping, can you hear me, Penny? Yeah. Ah, uh, so, and then ping is, uh, ping is like BBM, yeah? You ping someone when you need their attention. And uh, pink is uh, the color. And I think that's kind of like the color of your, what you're wearing, Wilda, yeah? I'm oh, sorry, who am I talking to? Wilda, right? Oh, no, Any. Where's Any? Yeah, it's me. Where did you go? I don't see you. Sorry. There you are. Now I see you. Okay. Uh, good, good. So let's try this. Um, sing and sink. Sing and sink. Very good. And the next two? Sing and pink. Very good. Perfect. Okay. And then uh, for the next one, any mm -hmm. find and fine for some people are difficult because ND, they cannot do it. So one of the tips, if you've seen my video before, I've made it before, I say for these words, so like find, just add the E after the D, kind of like the names, uh, Noka, Grita, Meika, these names, you know, Indonesian names that have the E at the end, but it's like a soft sound that you add, right? It's not noke, right? It's noka, yeah, like a soft sound. I mean, you know better than me, so let me not teach you that. <laughs> but if you add that soft E sound after the D, then you can easily differentiate find and fine. Can you try? Fine and fine. So can you try hitting the D harder? Fine and fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. Your, your D is very soft, but I can still hear it. Okay. Let's try mind and mine. Mine and mine. Mm. Can you try for me, try this very labai, okay? So okay. add the E sound after the D. So find the. Uh, find. Find the. Uh, find the. Uh, find the. Uh, Find and her. actually, that's not bad. So I'm asking you to do it labai, but it sounds pretty good. Can you try again? Fine. Can, can you be more labai? More labai? <laughs> Find the. Aha, good. Now, now reduce the labai a little bit. Fine. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Let's move over to can't. Can't. And can. Can. Yeah, pretty good. Can and can. Yeah. So usually when I teach people can't versus can, uh, because you don't have to hit the heart, the T very hard. When I speak, I don't. But there is a <coughs> a breath after that. So I say can't, can't, can't. Yeah. There's like a little breathy sound there. Okay. And then let's move on to spent versus spend. Spent and spent. And re resent versus resend. Resend and resend. Yeah, these sound very similar, huh? It's a little bit hard. Okay. Resent. 
recent and recent. Okay. Actually, for, for this one, something that's important, we, we stress the second syllable here and the first syllable here. So it would be recent and resend. Recent and recent. Recent. Recent and recent. There you go. Good, good. Thank you, Annie. All right, I'm gonna move on to the next sound. So we can do a few of these before we go into question and answer. So, ah, uh, my favorite. Okay, guys, uh, this is the symbol, the A and the E together like that, uh, of a certain sound which exists in English but does not exist in Bahasa Indonesia, okay? Actually, did you know that the letter A can be pronounced seven different ways in English? Okay, so this sound is ah. Okay, this is the one that if you've seen my videos, I say kaya kambing, bikin suara seperti kambing. And I'll say, I'll use the examples of happy, happy. And uh, the next word, which was covered by the thing, now it's back. Bad, bad, and apple, and exactly, and axe. Okay, so I, I can see some people smiling and laughing. Uh, I need you to be Labai for this. You got to sound like a goat. Okay. Who's ready to sound like a goat? All the hands are going to go down now. <laughs> um, let's try. Oh, any, you know, any way I already did. But I, I mentioned Wilda before, didn't I? Can we hear, can we unmute Wilda? Shafia. Let's try Wilda. What? <laughs> oh my <All> God. <laughs> You ready okay. to be like a goat? Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's try the first one. Okay. First one. Okay. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, so try to open your mouth more. Happy. Okay. Happy. Ah, that's better. That's better. Try bad. Bad. Ah, that's pretty good. Apple. Apple. Very good. Exactly. Ex exactly. Ah, good. Okay. And Did I say exactly or exactly? Sorry, sorry. Sometimes I say that weird. And then the last one, X. X. Ah, very good. That one, the last one was really good. So uh, let's try Wilda. Less Labai. So Happy? Happy? Hmm. Bad? Bad. Apple? Apple. Very good. Exactly? Exactly. Oh, that one was very good. Axe? Axe. Oh, that one was very good. Good job. You graduated. Thank you. <laughs> good, good. So, mm, guys, I think I'm going to stop here because I want to have some time for Q&A and uh, I'm not sure how many questions we have. I think we have a lot. So what I want to do is just real quickly show you the rest of them, the rest of the sounds. So this I mentioned at the beginning. I said that, that the S is sometimes pronounced like a Z. And if you have time to do a screenshot, you can see these are the examples at the bottom as, is, was, cousin, all of those S's are Z, okay? Hus, husband, speakers, words, these are all Z's, okay? I'm gonna move on. I'm just gonna go through these quickly. Uh, short vowel versus long vowel, okay? I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, <laughs> so, um, the short vowel versus the long vowel to compare, look at the left and then the right. Lick, leak. Sit, seat. Bit, beat. Fit, feet. Hit, heat. Lid, lead. So the sound on long vowel, we can say, if you speak Arabic, we can say dua harakat, okay? But uh, you're going to double the sound, kind of. Leak, okay? Um, 
There's a few more, but I think we're going to have to stop here, guys, because I really want to have time for some Q&A. All right. So, everybody, I thank you so much for participating in this. Now I get to see all of your faces, actually, because when I had the pr presentation up, I can't see your faces. I only get like four people. So now I see everybody. It's much more, much more fun now. But um, so let me open up the chat and I'm going to take a look at some of the questions. OK, actually, my chat is a little bit flooded, flooded. It's not really a terminology. I'm, I'm using Bahasa Indonesia ke Bahasa Inggris, uh, tanggalam. The questions are flooded. The questions are missing. So let me see if the guy, the, the team can send me directly the questions. You know what I'm going to do, guys? Because I'm not seeing the questions sent to me at the moment. I'm going to do another page of, well, here, wait, there's a question from one, someone who's in here, Linda. How do you pronounce, how to pronounce, so she said how to pronounce laugh. Uh, better to say how do you pronounce. Uh, laugh, the A is like suara kambing, the one where we just learned where it's the, that's called IPA, International Phonetic Alphabet. You don't have to learn that. Uh, ah, ah, laugh, laugh, and the GH is like an F, okay, good. You guys are all doing uh, questions about pronunciation. You can ask me about anything, by the way, uh, but somebody asked me won't and want. So uh, Ziyad Ahmad asked me won't, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, wait a second. At America shared my video on Twitter and maybe also I think on Instagram about this. So that means you didn't watch it. Uh, want, whoa, whoa, want. Was it want and won't? Wait, what did he ask? <laughs> yeah, yeah, want and want. So want, won't, whoa, 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 won't. I want wa wa a wa ba ha sa. Yeah, it's the same A. Want ba ha sa. Okay, I'm making a fool of myself, so let me go down. Uh, good. Ah, this is a good question from Regina Muda. Uh, is aimed for formal conversation. So, um, no. Although, uh, so conversation in English is a little bit freer to be informal than um, is is uh, freer than than writing. In writing, you really gotta be when when it's, when it's formal writing, you have to adhere to the rules. But in speaking. Um, especially after you already know the person, even in a formal setting, it's already a casual, um, casual friendship in a formal setting. You can be a little less formal. However, I would still avoid ain't. Um, it does sound very cool, um, gaul, yeah, but uh, it can sound uneducated, I guess. Um, I, th I think just to be safe, I would I would not use it, but I love it. I love using it. <laughs> um, good. Is Maori, yes, you can ask the meaning of some words. Uh, hold on, these moving these are moving quickly. Um, ah, either and either. <laughs> Timothy Korag asks because I think sometimes either is pronounced either. Uh, I use both. I use both interchangeably. So sometimes I say either. Sometimes I say either. Either either you want this one or you want that one. Either you want this one or you want that one. I want either one. I want either one. Yeah, I use both. I, I think uh, there's a free. There's a freedom with this word. You're free. 
I give you my blessing to use both. Um, good. Yeah, I think Timothy both are correct. If 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 I don't know, then I would say that it's fine, because that means because I because like I showed you in the beginning of this video, um, there's there's a lot of different American accents. So I, I feel like either might be more British. I'm not totally sure, but I think some Americans use either. So I say they're both fine. Good. Um, ah, this is a good one. Some people say data and some people say data. Uh, and I think if I'm, if, if I'm not wrong, the pronunciation, which is data, came from the TV show Star Trek The Next Generation because there's a character named Data uh, and they call him Data, not Data. I, I really think that that's where it originated. But now everybody says Data or Data. Like, like there's been a data breach. There's been a data breach. No, that sounds better, Data. I give you my blessing to use both. And if someone says you're wrong, you tell them, oh, maybe I've been watching too much Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, <laughs> Luisa Aventa asks, is IPA quite helpful to pronounce some words in English? Could you tell us a little bit about that? Um, and she said, thank you. So I'll give you a, a, a you're welcome in advance. But uh, IPA, International Phonetic Alphabet, it, it is helpful, absolutely. Um, it's, I think, probably helpful to learn any language, like every language in the world, but that's having to learn a whole new thing, right? And I don't, I don't understand IPA. I don't know all of the IPA symbols and their sound, the corresponding sound. So um, I think the percent of people on the world who actually know all of the IPA is quite low. So you don't need it, but it can help, right? So it's, so it's really up to you. If you're kind of like a language nerd like me, uh, I am a language nerd, but I don't know IPA, although. I might want to learn it one day. <laughs> so if you're a little bit like a language nerd, then then yeah, give it a shot. You have the time, you have the desire, go for it. But you don't have to. Um, good. I think we have about two more minutes. So let me take a few more questions. Um, what does cheesy mean? And when should I use it? Says Maori. So fat. Um, Cheesy is usually used uh, when someone makes a joke. So it's like reche. In Bahasa Indonesia, it would be reche. Cheesy is like a bad joke, you know, a dad joke. Uh, sometimes cheesy can be used to describe, not really. I was going to say like someone dresses kind of funky and weird, but no, that's not true. That would be more like tacky. <laughs> okay. Um, sir, yes, Hipotri says, sir, is it true if someone says, how do you do? We also reply, how do you do? I'm confused. Thank you, sir. Uh, you're welcome in advance. Um, there's no such thing as you're welcome in advance. That's, that's my own little joke. I mean, you can do it if you want. But uh, uh, how do you do? Yes. In English, Every kind of greeting is not incredibly important to reply. Yeah. So sometimes someone says to me, how are you doing? And I reply, oh, how are you doing? And that's my reply. And sometimes they're surprised, like he didn't answer me. Uh, and I don't notice that I do it because it's so common. Right. Uh, so everything. How are you doing? You can reply with how are you doing? What's up? You can reply with what's up. Uh, how do you do? You can reply with how do you do? It, it's true. Um, if you want, you don't have to. You can. Someone says, how do you do to you? You can say, uh, I'm doing very well today. How do you do? And, uh, you know, that's a, a way of mediating between the, the ways that you can answer. But yeah, you don't really have to. It's not critical to answer back in English. Good, good. Ah, I think we're out of time, guys. So I'm going to have to turn the screen back over to Jasmine. And uh, everybody, thanks, thank you so much for joining. I hope that you will be able to improve your American English, your pronunciation, 
better and you will all be very by when you practice, but not when you talk to people because then you'll look weird like me. So thank you everybody for joining. Thank you very much, Dennis, for the wonderful time that you shared with all of us tonight. Kayaknya kita jadi makin pintar ya, teman-teman, ya, bahasa Inggrisnya. Thank you. All right, so earlier in the event, uh, I asked you guys, true or false, in American English, the use of serial comma is mandatory. And the correct answer is false. The use of the serial comma is optional as it is considered a style and not a grammatical rule. So shout out to Maya Trenner from Twitter for answering correctly. Congratulations, Maya. And thank you so much, everybody, for participating tonight. Uh, don't forget to tune in next time, and you might get a chance to get a shout out from us, like Maya tonight. And you guys may be wondering how you guys can develop an awesome idea at an awesome place like this. It's really easy. You guys can go to our website at www.adamerica.or.id, select Create a Program, and go to Collaborate with us. All of our proposals will be reviewed and maybe your, your event might be featured here soon. And also while you guys are on our website, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter that we will send straight into your inbox once a week. And also don't forget to follow us on our social media at AT America on our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube channel. This wraps tonight's episode. I'm so sorry we have to say goodbye, but I hope you guys tune in next time at the next Ad America TV event. I'm Jasmine signing out. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you.